Today we're going over the only group of rig that you need to know. It's worked for me everywhere I've gone, deep water, shallow water, any kind of grouper, it puts fish in the boat. Let's jump right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this rig started. We'll go ahead and grab my weight line. I'm gonna tie a quick grouper knot onto the swivel. Pull it down, trim the excess, and then I'm gonna tie a triple overhand knot, which is a loop knot. You can do any loop knot that is pretty quick for you. I like a triple overhand. Sometimes it gets a little tough if you're using really heavy line. For the weight line, I'm not too picky. I'll do some, I mean, somewhere about six inches. If it's longer or shorter, no big deal. Um, really personal preference. I don't stress about it too much though. And then we're just going to go ahead and <clears throat> throw that weight on there. So as you can see on the bottom of the rig, we have our mono. I don't use fluoro for this part. I'll use fluoro for the leader going outside. It goes to the hook, but we got our knot, triple overhand loop knot, and then our weight hanging off. And we'll go ahead and get started with the leader. Take a crimp, run it through one side. Make sure you're going through the right side of the swivel. You know, you're picking the one that's at like a 90 degree angle. And then one little trick, if you guys have never seen it, take a lighter and mushroom the end of that mono, fluoro, whatever you're using. Burn it just a little bit to where it makes like a mushroom cap. That way it can't pull through the crimp as long as the crimp is tight. Just make sure it's cool and then pull it flush. So you have a nice little loop. And then I'll crimp it pretty tight right there near the top where the mushroom is. But then I'll put most, I'll pull it really tight <coughs> in the middle of the crimp. And then I'll always leave the side that's got the loop on it flared. I won't crimp that bow because if you crimp that bow right where it comes together, it can actually nick the line. Moving on to the hook, run a crimp through it, grab our hook, same thing. Just make a little mushroom, a little tap, make sure it's cool, pull it flush. I like a smaller crimp loop, I'm not too big of a fan of a, a big loop, you know. There we go guys, that is our grouper rig. We got a three-way swivel, about a foot and a half, two feet a liter with hook of your choosing, and about a six inch loop knot for our weight. Super easy, and you can tie your main line straight onto here. Braid, you know, uh, I recommend braid at least for grouper fishing because you're trying to, you want zero stretch in that line, you're trying to yank them off the bottom as quick as possible. Hope this helps. If you guys got any questions, feel free to hit me up at Obsidian Fishing Instagram. Love to connect with you guys. Shoot me some pictures if you guys get on some grouper. Later.